Hello and welcome. So you have a video, let's uh, take this one for example, and you want it to be sped up, but you don't want the audio to be sped up. Here in VLC, for example, we can look at what happens when we speed everything up. Both the video and the audio get faster and the audio gets a little high-pitched. So if you want to edit a video and you don't want that to happen, I recommend you get Shotcut, free to download, open source, a link to the download is in the description of this video. It's easy to get, it's small in size. Once you have Shotgun running, just drag in the video you want to speed up. Enable the timeline, drag the video from the source view to the timeline. You can use Shift on your keyboard and mouse wheel to make them smaller, the tracks here. And then just uh, press this icon and add video track. And now click on this video, on this video clip, press Ctrl C or right click and copy. Click somewhere at the end and then press this icon or paste, scroll up a little and drag one of these up and drag it so that they are identically on top of each other. And now you just uh, use this icon to mute the video track. And now you can speed this up by going to properties and changing the speed, for example, times two. And now you can see the video is faster, but the audio remains the same. If you want the audio to change with the scenes, then you will have to chop this track into pieces with the S key or this icon. And where's the other one, the other jump? Well, I think this is the same audio pretty much. And then you will have to make this shorter. Let's see, once we speed it up, where's the cut? Here's the cut. Using the arrow key here. Okay, perfect. All right, and then we move this one there, and then we move this end to over here. Let's uh, click here and zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Move this away, drag this to make it perfect. All right, so now you have faster video, but the audio doesn't sound weird. But of course, the audio cannot be correct completely, but this works pretty good for this noise audio background. Once you're done with all this, press the export button and just hit over here the export file icon and give this file a name and the mp4 ending, .mp4. Click save and then just wait for this to finish. Meanwhile, the file will grow in size slowly. Once it reaches 100%, it is done. Here we go. And you can view your result. So if this helps, please subscribe to support this channel and have fun editing your video. Ciao!